Good afternoon. Welcome back to uh, another installment in um, my SAP surgery journey. Nice to uh, finally record another video. I um, am following up this video on the 24 month video that I posted a few months ago. And back then I had just had my elastics put on, which was probably one of the most painful experiences. Well, no, I'm kidding. It's not actually, it wasn't painful, but it's just very uncomfortable. Because if you remembered, I had two squares, essentially, which was quite a, an adventure. And you know, finding it, <laughs> finding it sort of um, in different parts of your house and you know, suddenly figuring out, wait a minute, why do I only have two instead of four in my mouth? Where did they go? Uh, it was an adventure. So now, um, I'm just going to talk about how that process went and then what it is now because my braces are off, no more elastics, you don't understand how <laughs> epic it feels, but um, I just thought I'll, uh, I'll let you know how it went. So since that video, that video that I posted, um, I was very close to the whole process of getting it kind of done because those elastics that were pulling it all together like the top jaw, the bottom jaw and all that um, along with the power chains was basically the final sort of step before removing your braces I just kept going on with those um, elastics and then in about I think about two months after that video I pretty much had my braces taken off which is awesome um, seeing as it's obviously a teeth video, I may as well come a bit closer just to uh, give you kind of an idea. So this is the end result of my whole process. From the first video that I posted till now, this is pretty much the end. I'm gonna now just kind of give you a rough idea of how it looks like. I'm gonna do a front one and then a sort of a side profile. You can have a little kind of look. Okay, so this is my teeth now. Uh, so as you can see, I'm just gonna talk like this just so you can get an idea. But basically, my front teeth are now very well underneath my bottom teeth, which is really good. If I turn this way, you can see that my bite is also very aligned, which is a, a very good thing, uh, I must say. And I am very pleased with the results, considering that I potentially was going to do for a second surgery, which was to correct my um, lower jaw, um, but I'll get into that in a sec. I'm very happy with the results. You can tell that like my my jaw is like slightly, I mean what am I saying? I think it's pretty awesome to be honest. Um, I'm glad I didn't do the lower jaw surgery. Um, even though it was recommended by my surgeon because they really wanted me to get like the perfect like Hollywood smile, but to me it was just not like really worth it in my eyes. So I'm quite glad that I can go with it. In this so-called journey, you may get recommendations that you may not particularly want. So just um, treat it like what makes the most sense to you and then just go with that decision. Okay. Um, now, on the day of my braces being removed, what do you reckon happened? Of course, they checked it and they were like, mm, I think you need another couple more weeks. So anyway, that happened. I was low-key hoping that they would take it off that day because I like planned to like surprise my girlfriend and all that kind of stuff. But um, it didn't happen, so it was sad. The next appointment, they took it off. It was awesome. You know what? I didn't film um, the whole taking off process. I don't know why, I was keen on doing it and then I think I just kind of forgot about it and yeah, anyway, so I'm sorry to disappoint. Um, anyway, braces got taken off, um, yeah, I'm sure you, you've researched how braces get taken off and stuff like that, but you know, you get it off, polish your teeth, you feel it and you're like, oh my god, so smooth. Um, anyway, then I got the option of putting permanent retainers. So, what's a permanent retainer? So it's basically a, I, I don't know if you can 
<laughs> Basically, it's uh, just think of a copper wire that's running through um, like your bottom here to like here. So like here to here. One line across top, one line across bottom. It's not too common to have both, but I thought of just getting both because I feel like this whole tooth journey, teeth journey has been such a important sort of chapter in my life. I just want to have as much insurance as possible. When you finish, you get retainers. But basically, they look like this. I don't know if you can particularly like focus. Uh, yeah, perfect. So it's clear sort of clear kind of, you know, retainers, obviously. So they go just in like that. And basically, I just have to wear this every night. Now, because I've got the permanent retainers, I can pretty much skip a few nights and it won't impact it too much. The retainer retainers are just there to keep your, your teeth aligned. So, spoiler alert, when you get your braces off, you're still gonna have to wear retainers for your life. Not wearing your retainers for a prolonged amount of time pretty much undoes everything you've done for your teeth. Your teeth don't actually permanently stay in place. Braces just aligns it to where it should be and then your retainers are pretty much there to keep it at that position. Your teeth don't stay put because your teeth are trained to kind of be in a certain way. Um, so just think about that. Um, it's not hard. Once you kind of implement it into your life, it's like kind of like just brushing your teeth. It's kind of like always there. So then I got a mold. So you have to mold because um, you have to mold your teeth so that you can obviously mold your retainer. So I got my, my mold, which is pretty awesome. So this is what my teeth is like at the moment, you know, um, which is awesome to see. But what's even more awesome, guys? Oh my god. Okay, so. If you've been watching my first video, this was my f upper jaw. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? So obviously, you know, that was what my upper jaw looked like. Um, as you can tell, it's obviously widened due to the spreading of the, um, the surgery to obviously get this teeth down, you know, that teeth down, you spread apart the sides so that these teeth can be brought forward. Like, what? I'm gonna do another Q&A video because I had heaps, I had tons of questions on previous videos and I think it's cool to just again compile a bunch of new questions. I did a Q&A like two or three videos ago, but then now maybe I'll do something that's more towards the end process but also like you know towards the the post braces life if you will i do want to say that like you know it's like maybe i've only got two more videos and then i'm pretty much done with this topic if i'm being quite honest um and it's been two years since i've started posting and it's so cool that even till today i've had comments asking questions about the whole process you know like does it make your nostrils bigger does it make like this that hurt here there and it's so cool because it's just nice to see like people wanting to know more about this whole thing and that's the whole reason I post it because um, I feel like you know I'm I just turned 30 and you know not many people want to do like jaw surgery slash braces po past 25 I feel so it's nice to kind of have a bit of a community but I think if I if you have any more questions just kind of shoot in this video um, and t like I need to know what are the next videos that I need to make. Obviously, I will be doing a bit of a, you know, life post braces type thing. I've got a couple of other um, ideas, but I think that's like I'm not going to try and milk this topic too much. I think at the end of the day, I've sort of done quite a few things, uh, run over a few things about, about this topic, which is good. Um, but if you have any other questions, I just want you guys to shoot me a question in the comment section and I can get to it ASAP. But yes, I think 
that is all for today's video everyone um thanks a lot and i hope to see you guys soon